Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making pies from our giant Kushaw squash. So hang on one second, we'll show you how we did it. Alright guys, like I said, today we're going to be making pies from our giant Kushaw squash that we harvested the other day. We got those seeds from old James down there at Old School with a Modern Twist. And we managed to grow a 20 pounder. So we had some other ones and they were a little bit smaller. So we're going to use those today and we're going to turn them into some great pies we can freeze up and enjoy later in the year. But we've got a lot of footage so we're just going to jump right into it and we hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, we're getting ready to break down these Kushaw squash, and uh, these are the Kushaws we picked the other day out of the container garden, but uh, there's the big boy there everybody was talking about, but uh, now you'll see we have three smaller ones, and in the video we only showed two. Well, later that day as we were mowing and cleaning up that spot where they were growing, we found a third one under the chicken house. So. We've got three of these uh, smaller to medium sized ones, and those are the ones we're going to be breaking down today for the Kushaw pies. So uh, we're going to get the big boy out of the way. We're going to use him tomorrow for another project, but we'll get to breaking these down and we'll bring you back here in just a second to show you that. All right, guys, we're going to let Tina take a crack at whacking up these Kushaw squash. But let's see the inside of them. Everybody's been curious. Pretty white on the inside. See it weeping pretty good. Probably got a lot of sugars in it. But, all right. You got the neck off and the stem hacked off of it. We'll go ahead and split the neck. And then uh, we'll probably split this bell on the bottom of it. Now we'll probably keep the seeds out of here, but um, these won't be the seeds that we plant to grow big squash. We'll probably plant them to see if anything good comes of them. But uh, as far as growing the big Kushaw squashes, we're going to primarily focus on the seeds from the big one. Um, it obviously has the genetics to grow big ones. And uh, these we may plant on the side to see if we can bring the genetics out. But uh, um, for right now, we're going to keep these seeds for our own purposes. And we're going to treat this thing pretty much like a pumpkin. So. How's it smell? It smells like a pumpkin. Smells like pumpkin? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a pumpkin. Oh, it smells really good. Smells really good? Yeah. Alrighty, but uh, we'll get these scooped out and then we're going to basically do the same thing to the other two and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you what we're going to do with them next. Alright, we're starting the scooping process on them and I wanted to bring you back in here and show you that they, uh, they scoop and they look like a pumpkin on the inside. So the big seeds, try to get you in close so you can see that, but they're they're really fibrous and they got that uh, scrapey sound, the same sound you hear when you're uh, cleaning out a jack-o'-lantern. Mm -hmm. So uh, they don't seem to have as many seeds as we thought they did, but uh, we'll go ahead and finish getting this out of here. And like I said, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what we're gonna do with them next. All right, guys. It looks like we're going to lose part of one of the Kushaws. I think it's the one we found under the chicken house. But uh, as you can see there, there's some bug damage in the neck when we split the neck in half. Something obviously burrowed down into the neck. But I want to show you these cut ends. These are where the neck disconnected from the squash. And it did not make it on into the squash. It stayed pretty much in the neck of the squash. We cut away maybe a quarter of an inch or so to you know, make sure that we got all the damage he had done. But uh, I'm going to show you, he uh, cut him a nice little path up through there, though. But the rest of the squash is very, very salvageable. We took one little, uh, we took one little spot off the side of there that was a just a soft spot from being on the ground. But uh, there you go, just a soft spot. But uh, we cut it down to good meat. So we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning these out, and then we'll bring you back and show you what we're going to do to bake them. Alright guys, we've got the squash all hollowed out, 
We've got them face down here on these aluminum covered book cookie sheets. And we've got them covered in oil. You can probably see they're shiny. But we've rubbed the outside of them with oil. And we're going to bake them at 375 degrees until they're fork tender. And that should take about an hour. But we'll check them and we'll let you know how long it actually took when we pull them out. All right, guys, we've had these in the oven now for probably half an hour or so, and they obviously couldn't take that kind of heat. They're not as strong as a pumpkin, and that's the way we were trying to cook them. So it's looking like we're going to need to scrape them out, and then uh, probably they're still awful soft, so um, we need to get to a thicker puree. So probably what we're going to do is scrape them out, move them over to that pan there, and uh, we'll just try to slow cook them on down from there into a puree we can use for pies. All right, guys, got a little change of plans here. We were able to go ahead and get the kushal scraped out. Um, they were done enough. Um, I guess they just cook faster than pumpkin, but they seem to have a lot of liquid in them. I've pulled them over here to one side of this big bowl here. Let me pull back out. But uh, down there in the bottom of the bowl, you can see that there's still water coming out of them. And we've done a little bit of research while they were cooking. And it does say to drain them. So what we're going to do rather than cooking this on down and cooking it further um, we're just going to move it over here we've set up a colander on top of a bowl and we're going to move the squash over into this colander and let it drain for a little while and then i'll bring you back and show you how much liquid come off of it Alright guys, I'm going to have to cut back in here. Sorry about the audio earlier. You haven't missed much. You saw us mixing up the ingredients. I'm just going to call out these last few ingredients here. Or I'll call out the recipe while she puts these last few ingredients in. And then uh, we'll just move on from there. I apologize for the audio. But uh, for this recipe, you're going to need two cups of um, pureed Kushaw squash. One refrigerated pie cup two-thirds cup packed light brown sugar, two eggs, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, one eighth teaspoon ground allspice, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to get in here and get those all mixed together but Tina's got her immersion blender set out there so I'm gonna go ahead and break away from this that way she can run her blender and I'll just throw some music in over the blender but I apologize for the dropped out audio that's my fault but we'll be right back to show you what it looks like We got these pie crusts out of the oven. You'll have to, uh, whatever pie crust you use, just follow those directions. It'll tell you to probably pre-cook them a little bit, but we've got ours done. And uh, we got our mix all done. So Tina's gonna go ahead and uh, fill up these pie crusts. And uh, like I said, we're gonna do four, so we're just gonna scoop it out there and try to get them leveled up. And then uh, I'll bring you back. This is probably gonna take a second, so. I'll bring you back in a few minutes when we've got them all loaded up and I'll show you what we do with them next. Alright guys, Tina's got the pies leveled out here. She's got all four, all four of them filled. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get these on a pie sheet. We're going to cook them two at a time. We don't want to try to load the oven all with all four and put them on different levels and have them cooking different. So she's got those. Uh, I think they're disposable pie rings, but uh, they're also reusable. So we're going to try to protect the crust a little bit. We're going into the oven at 350. How long? 40 to 45 minutes. 40 to 45 minutes. Alright guys, we'll get these in the oven and we'll show them to you when we get them back out. Alright guys, we got 
timer went off. We got two of them ready to come out of the oven. Get those out here. They smell fantastic. Our whole house smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. but we'll go ahead and swap these rings off to these other two that need to go in. We'll get them in the oven. And then we'll bring you back and we'll tell you what we think of them. Alright guys. We got all the pies out of the oven now. And we've got them out here cooling down so they can set up. But I wanted to give you a look at them. They look really good. They taste really good. Got to lick the spoons. But uh, we're real happy with them. We're going to let these cool down. Then we'll get them wrapped up and get them down to the freezer. And we'll be enjoying them later here in the year. But, uh, just wanted to give you a look at them. We probably won't get into them. We need to let them set up before we start cutting on them. So, um, probably won't get into them in time to finish the video up. But, we'll let you get a good look at them. And, uh, these are the Kushaw Pies. And we're real, real happy with them. Alright guys, that's going to about wrap it up for the video. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave a link up above in one of these corners. And, uh, That'll take you to our uh, giant Kushaw squash video. If you've never seen those harvested before, well, like I said, we got a 20 pounder out of it. We showed it there in the beginning of the video, but if you'd like to see those harvested, check out that video in the iCard. And if you like the video here, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment down below. We don't have a whole lot of experience with the Kushaw squash. So if you do, or you've got a great recipe or something like that, let us know. We'd, uh, we'd like to hear about it. We're going to try to figure out more and more ways to use them over the years. We're going to continue to grow them. And uh, if you would, just like I said, leave, leave, us, leave us any information you have on them down below or any other things that you can have. We're going to make these, we've made these pies and uh, we're going to make some uh, Kushaw butter. We're going to boil them down into a Kushaw butter and we're going to save a few steaks, a couple of real thick slices out of them that we can roast. But, uh, it, like I said, if you've got anything you do with them, please let us know. If you like the content here on the channel, we hope you guys will subscribe. There's a subscribe button down below, and uh, next to it is a bell. If you ring that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release a new video, which is a great way to keep up with the channel. But please hit that thumbs up button, leave us a comment, and uh, share our videos with your friends if you would. And, and uh, let them see what we've got going on down here. Maybe they'll come over and uh, we can all be part of the discussion. So. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one.